You guys, you guys, I have a problem to solve. A problem regarding the problem solvers. If you remember in my Cartoon Network shows video, the first one, I talked very lengthy about problem solvers, and honestly, I want to talk about it some more because it's a pretty interesting show. It was very unique for its time. The colors will blind you. The characters are weird. Everything about it is very, very weird. And uh, I may have to call in some backup later on in the video to help me handle this one. But for now, let's just dive on into an episode of Problem Solvers and see what this is all about. So the episode starts with our main trio, Alfe, Horace, and Roba, as they're walking to the clock museum for their next problem, when a fangirl stops them and expresses how down bad she is for Roba. Oh, Roba, you're cute and funny. <laughs> you're my favorite. <gasps> nah, really. I don't like all this pressure of being your favorite. By the way, I don't know if her name is Katrina Rat or Katrina Rad. I, I real, I'm not sure, but either way, pretty shitty name. Now, I'm usually not one to judge, but lady, you seriously need to pick a color. My eyes hurt just looking at you. Horace decides to let Katrina tag along on their mission so she can write a blog to help with their business, and they enter the clock museum. I don't know what it is about hair in this show, but Horace's barber should be shot for what he did. What the hell is that? Well, yesterday we received an amazing experimental clock. This is a piece of our new exhibition. It has an extra 30 seconds on the minute. That doesn't make sense. I don't like no, it. No, 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 no. It's a magic clock. A magic what? It's a magic clock. 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 Now, even though this show is hard to look at sometimes, hell, my head was spinning just from all the moving parts in this museum, I can't say that it doesn't have good bits of comedy. I want you to guard the clock, but before you can guard it, you'll have to find it, since you see, it's already been stolen. <gasps> ah, darn it! Hey, do you have any napkin clocks? <laughs> oh, dear! Oh! <laughs> he made him wet. <laughs> so they go to the skating competition to see if this guy has the clock they're looking for, and Katrina takes the word simp to a whole new level. But your shoelaces are untied. I don't have shoelaces. I made some with my hair. What? A cupcake chef steals the clock to mass produce cupcakes, and holy shit, this room is blinding. Look, I appreciate how colorful they've made this show, but do they have to put in like 10 different colors and patterns into one frame? It's so distracting. So here's a shock. After they defeat the chef, Katrina steals the clock to freeze time so her and Roba can get married. Also, Horace should never face forward ever again. That's scarier than Phineas. Ah! No! I'm getting the hell out of here. No. No. That, that, was, the, that was the cue for the, the special guests. Go. Cut, cut to the special guests. Go. 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 For centuries, eons, heck, years even, there have been so many so-called problem solvers. People like Sherlock Holmes, Vanilla Ice, me when my grandma forgets her Gmail password may come to mind, but if you ask me, I think the real problem solvers are the problem solvers with a Z at the end. I love the problem solvers. Somebody had to have said it at one point. But not two bodies. ChatGPT, what is the problem solver show from Cartoon Network? The problem solver was by an ben American animator. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yes, this makes sense to me. Okay. The problem solvers with the Z at the end stars two of God's precious children and their weird brown animal friend. From left to right, their names are Pringus, Pingus, and Bingus, and they got problems to solve. Urs. A large talking point of the show is its very innovative animation style and art style. And by innovative, I mean it's innovating me to change the channel. <sighs> when I look at this poster, I can't help but think that, well, nothing is going to be alright in the end. ChatGPT, write me a haiku about the popular and very sexy cartoon, The Problem Solvers, uh, and include the word stoop in there somewhere. Thank you very much. Bright colors swirl bold on the stoop heroes unfold, solving brave and cold. Brr. I haven't seen a full episode of The Problem Solvers with a Z at the end, but the previews make me wish that whoever created Color Film 
just kind of kept that info to themselves, please and thanks. Hey, what if there was, like, a saw trap where, like, somebody was strapped in and then John Kramer was like, Hey, you gotta watch uh, all the, you gotta watch all the Problem Solver episodes or I'm, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't that, I mean, they're, they're at 11 movies. They're gonna run out of ideas some, someday. They're gonna have, to, I'm, I'm just saying, John Kramer, if you want to give me your residuals, my address is on the screen right now. Thank you. You know what, guys? I think I'm turning over a new leaf with these problem solvers. They like pizza. I like pizza. You know, in this political landmine field of a country that we see ourselves trying to navigate every single day as the fabric of our liberty and pursuit of happiness crumbles beneath our feet every single day at an exponential rate, little equalizers like this, like our shared love of pizza and whatnot, those are the kinds of things that we should be clinging on to from day to day, for every day, for the rest of our days. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you for applauding. Feel free at home, you watching by yourself, feel free to applaud along. Don't just listen to the edited in uh, applaud sound effects. Uh, feel free, uh, you know, give it up for your country. Give it up. Give it up for Pringus, Pingus, and Bingus. Am I right? Love those guys. I might even give these problem solver boys a call someday. I'm human, after all. I got problems! ChatGPT, how do I call the problem solvers? What's their phone number? I need to call them. The home invaders are on my trail and they're inching closer and closer at an alarming rate. You know, so they answer faster. Okay, it looks like ChatGPT is kind of confused. Like, they're telling me uh, to call 911 and everything. Um, no. I mean the problem solver solvers from the show. What's an Alfie? Well, anyway, I said my piece. The Problem Solvers is one of the best, best shows ever made, and if you disagree, then you're a damn donkey. Anyway, time for AJ of uh, Media Dumpster to take it away and say some more things. Uh, take it away, AJ, Media Dumpster AJ. I've been a big fan for over 20 years. Bup, bup, bup. <sighs> Let's continue. So you don't really love me, Roba. Huh. Well, you know there's another button on this clock. We'll all be wiped out. And your plan to smash this clock proves you don't really love me. And that makes me want to push this button. So in case you didn't hear her twice, she realizes Roba doesn't love her and she wants to push the button that overloads time. Roba does a rap about how much he loves Katrina and as per the other frames of animation in this show, it throws so many damn colors in your face that you're focused more on the background than you are the characters. The rap distracts Katrina long enough for Alfie to smash the clock and the episode ends with our heroes walking off into the Pixel Gun 3D background. Well, in short, Problem Solvers is problematic. It is an eyesore in many ways, but there is a certain charm to it that makes me appreciate its wackiness. I feel like the creators just wanted to make something unique, and yeah, they really did with this show. Where it fails in making its characters pop out like it does with the backgrounds, it succeeds in providing some creative locations, villains, and of course, problems for our trio to solve. The problem I presented at the beginning of the episode was not Problem Solvers itself, it was whether or not I could tell you guys that this is something that you should seek out for yourselves. And honestly, it's completely subjective. It's not something that I, Nick, or even ChatGPT can tell you that you can enjoy. It's really up to you on whether or not you take the opportunity to explore and see if this is up your alley. Thanks to Nick from Bro Jankster for joining me on this one and giving thoughts on the series. This was actually the first collaboration I've ever done, and I'm looking forward to more in the future. And uh, Nick's channel will be down in the description below. You can check that out. Head on over and subscribe because we both like making very obscure content, it seems. And that's the best kind of content there is. Even better than OnlyFans. <laughs> Take care, guys. And goodbye.